Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special Japanese exclusive review we're going to be looking at the Transformers Victory 1989 version of Kakuryu. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox them live in a second, have a look at everything that's inside the packaging. We'll have a real detailed look at this box because as you can see there's some beautiful artwork including the main Victory poster at the back there. We will of course have a look at him in all of his individual modes, so that's the robot in his robot mode, his alternate mode and of course, for those of you who are unaware, these are dinosaur pretenders. So I'm going to show you how the pretender gimmick works on this as well. We're going to do some comparisons with his Hasbro American equivalent, because that is this guy here. And I've got to be super careful with him because of the GPS, which is slog. And then funnily enough, we'll do some other comparisons just again as a bit of a joke to give you an idea of how small these guys are. There's Star Saber's Brain Master. And of course, he was supposed to come up, as in the Dino King members, was supposed to come up against this particular guy as well. That's Victory Leo in the background. So you can see that the scale is way off. Now, I'm going to unbox him and I just again need to quickly apologise. This is not a complete item. However, I can make up for it with the pieces from the Hasbro one. The only difference is that the Japanese versions are black and the Hasbro versions are, as you can see, like a lilac-y purple colour. Anyway, this is D324. Now, the D stood for Destron, which is the Japanese word for Decepticon. And as you can see, we've got some stunning artwork there on the back. On the back, on the front, we've got there he is in his robot mode. There he is in his alternate mode. His alternate mode is a bit interesting. It's basically known as, I'm going to tell you in a second, it's like a squat pincher monster, which we'll have a look at him in more detail in a second. And there he is in his pretender mode. So as you can see, you've got very basic transformations. I'll show you all these in a second. You've got the powered up shell mode as well. There he is hiding in the pretender. There's robot. And there is again robot with the weapon. If we look on the side, you've got Dino King. This is again the Japanese version, I suppose, of Monstructor. Complete redeco, just the fact that they use dinosaur pretender shells instead of monsters. There's all the six members. There he is again. And this is the beautiful Victory artwork with some characters that you're probably quite familiar with now, like Star Saber, um, obviously due to the Haslab project, Larry Kaiser, Road Caesar. There, of course, is Dino King, Land Cross, and Desarus is there as well. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for the box, apart from some real cool things that they did in Japan that I want to show you. So we've got the tech spec on the back as normal. But what they did, and what I really like about this, is there's a collector's card there on the inside. Kakuryu. And, of course, the beauty of this is you can just cut that off. You haven't got to damage your box. And then if this side's been opened, I'll show you. No, it's still sealed. But what will be on the inside of this flap is there will be the robot points um, and something else as well, another, another card for you to cut off. Now, the strange thing as well about these is, as you can see, this is like a plastic insert. And um, the reason why I'm saying that's strange is because um, with pretty much all of the Takara figures before this, they used a yeah polystyrene insert even for like the autobot cars from the very very first figures in 1984 and then all of a sudden as they got a bit later on they decided to change to this which as you can see is nowhere near as good or robust so we've got the main figure here i'm going to carefully take out we've got the tail and of course we've got the dinosaur pretender shell again apologies there's no paperwork with this guy on all of the other videos i've done of the dino king members you can see the paperwork and as you can see we don't have the large gun but as i've said we've got the hasbro one the only difference is this would be completely jet black we don't have the small gun uh, but again, I'm just going to take this very carefully out of Slog's hand. And again, this would be completely black as well. Right, let's move this out of the way and let's have a look at him. So again, if you've not seen these, these are super, super basic figures. There's nothing really too much. They pretty much MicroMaster scale in all honesty. So articulation wise, you've literally just got the fact that you can turn the arms around. I'm not gonna do too much because it's super tight. Um, the back piece on him, this ends up being the chest. So the whole front piece here, you can see of Monstructor. So this guy goes smack bang in the middle. So this is his robot mode. And again, we can put the gun in his hand. It looks like the previous owner, unfortunately, looks like they snapped the old gun in his hand um, is it going to go in i'm just going to put it in ever so slightly like that and that's how we can display him um, again i'm proving as i say i was saying that he is quite small this is monzo which is of course weird wolf's head 
This is Stepper's Target Master, or in the Hasbro continuity, it's Night Stick from Cyclonus. Um, and have I got any other small figures? Yeah, this is Star Saber's Brain Master. So all these are the tiny little figures, and as you can see, he's not much bigger than him at all. Right, while we've got him there, before we look at the Dinosaur Pretender shell, again, very careful because of GPS. This is Slog. This is the American um, equivalent. And I know there's some gold there, but you can see this is painted on gold, whereas this is unfortunately the very, very famous gold plastic that just tends to break. So you can see they've just redecoed it, and it does look, you know, I like the colour of this, to be honest. And this guy's just got his own different look about him. Let's put this guy carefully there. Let's take the weapon out, and let's have a look at, as I say, this really strange alternate mode so you can see the transformation is so basic there's the monster feet there's the normal feet we're just going to fold this over we're going to fold away the head there's the monster pretty much there and i do believe literally that that is it there's not much more to say or to do with that super basic but what i like about these and it I just think that they did they made they went the extra mile so you've got the super basic toy there but then the fact that you can do this with it so it is a pretender shell believe it or not this is rubber you can take the back off here this is where we're going to hide the bot and if i get this correct is it this way let's have a quick look i think i haven't done this yet obviously this is all new to me there we go so you can see that's resting inside there you've got these two that's protruding on the outside but if you look on the underside of the shell you can see that it's still going to fit and you've got a little tab there so you've got have we got this yeah there we go it's going to click under there it's going to click under there and of course here is the tail that we can attach and the tail by the looks of it, it looks like it's going to have a bit of articulation in it as in we should be able to twist it round and round only a little but there you go right so i did mention that you can of course power up the shell with the weapon so you can put the little gun in that port there and then you can put the large gun in that port there as well is that how they've got it yep that's how they've got it i just wanted to make sure um it looks like they've got something different on the back there to be honest i don't know what that is what am i missing i'll see if i can find out and update the video but there we go this is him hidden away inside there let's take him back out and as i say we'll do some quick comparisons with victory leo just to give you an idea of how off scale that they were so the transformation process again is just fold these legs out and fold the head up i'm not going to pop these weapons back in him because they're not his i'm going to keep the dinosaur built up though and for those as they've been with my channel for quite a long time they will now know that this is the very last piece of dino king that i've been searching for so i will be able to do a complete dino king video for you that's ridiculous that's victory leo um yeah you can see the size difference if i attempted to get victory saber you wouldn't even see him anywhere near fit inside the screen but anyway i hope you found this informative i hope you enjoyed looking at him and as i say stay tuned i will be doing maybe an updated video on a few of these i will definitely definitely be doing a video very very shortly on the combined form of dino king and yeah so let me go let me know what you think guys do you think that we should have had these um by hasbro or do you think we should have some i think we should probably have some updated versions of these but i think where they would struggle let's be honest is they would probably struggle with the pretender shells so we might just get the inner bots and then they'd Again, it'd be a real effort if they did update these to deluxe sizes. They'd have to maybe have Voyager class pretender shells and deluxe class bots. But there you go, guys. This was D324 and his name was, I've forgotten it, Kakurayu. Nope, Kakurayu. And there he is. Hope you enjoyed looking at him. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.